What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So I always like to reflect on some of the older videos that I've created. Now it's not gonna be a reaction video here, but I like to look at some of these videos and what was successful and understand the, um, the push behind it, understand the popularity behind it, um, understand the concept of it and also address where we are right now. I made a video in the past talking about how we could all be uh, SHIB multi-millionaires by 2025. This was with the idea um, that they were still creating things like Shibirium, they were creating things like the metaverse lands, this was a while ago, uh, creating things like Shiboshis, creating things or um, having bone and leash more intact with the overall ecosystem and not um, showing exactly what they did. Um, but basically giving us a little bit of detail as to, you know, these new projects that are coming to this community, this ecosystem that could have a larger benefit on Shiba Inu, not knowing what they would do, hopefully pushing for burns, pushing for, um, you know, support and, you know, rewards maybe in Shiba Inu, something that we wanted to see with connection to Shiba Inu. Now, throughout that time, you know, throughout all of that time since creating that video, which was like a year and a half ago, um, I can see that you have a lot of variables. And I said this in, the, in that video is that you have a lot of variables in place that it could go a great way, it could go a positive way, or it could go kind of middle of the road, or it could be something that goes completely negative or goes, goes against everything that I am saying in that video, because it's all speculation, right? We make these videos, not to say that people need to invest because of this play or because of this thing that's happening. We make these videos because of, uh, you know, it could uh, give ideas to a lot of the people that are in charge. So maybe the ecosystem devs can get some ideas from us. Um, we can also get the community to, to man together and all understand where the path could be. Um, and, you know, it's not really to just get people, hey, you know, in, invest in this project. Um, and, you know, be a major part in this project. I'm not saying that I want people to do their own research because there is, there are other things that I will look into, um, that I will speculate on that others might not see that speculation. Does that make sense? So I wanted to talk about Shiba Inu a little bit and kind of revisit, uh, that premise of, you know, Shiba Inu millionaire by 2025 and like what we're looking at and hopefully what the goal could be with more variables um, or with, I guess, less variables there, but one bigger variable um, that takes place here. So anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you guys check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, definitely follow me on Twitter at Perry8K. You can follow me over there. Don't forget about the links that are in the description. It does help out the channel, especially the ones for uh, KuCoin and Crypto.com and Weeble. All of those are referral links. And uh, you get referred to those platforms if you want to buy Shiba Inu or Terra Luna Classic. You know, uh, KuCoin is a great option for, you know, purchasing Terra Luna Classic and, you know, other cryptocurrencies as well um actually for uh, pretty cheap compared to some of the competitors there but anyways if you want to go and check that out links are down there in the description but let's talk about um a lot of people's favorite project and you know crypto investment uh which is shiba inu and currently shiba inu is up about point about one percent right i don't know where it will be by the time you watch this video it might be somewhere around six o'clock by the time this video is posted I'm recording this at 11.22 a.m., so wherever this is, hopefully it's skyrocketing, but um, it's not 100% confirmed that that will happen because the market as we speak is kind of down, so seeing Shiba Inu up is kind of doing the opposite, which is a good thing. Um, but currently we're at 0 .0000 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 .0 uh, Um We see that this got to a high of 14.74, a low of 14.10. We can see the volume is looking really good. And you know, I like to focus in on the volume, understand what's happening with the volume where we're seeing uh, $688 million worth of volume, um, you know, which 7 million is going through DEXs, uh, 683 million is going through CEXs. We also have the market cap that's about $8 billion worth of a market cap, fully diluted is 8.5 billion. And the main uh, character for this project it's not just focusing on the price or the volume, but probably just understanding where that circulating supply will go. Um, because we see burns every day in the form of millions 
and every you know every week maybe every month in the form of billions but we still have yet to get to a level of burning one trillion uh you know coins and one trillion is still not even one percent of the overall supply so we definitely have a ways to go um now with that video that i created talking about shiba inu to um you would be a millionaire by 2025 it doesn't mean that you have to get to a dollar, right? A penny is definitely an option. Even a level of 10% of a penny would still be an option depending on how much you have. Now for all of us though, we wanna see this not only at a penny, but also at you know 10 cents and 20 cents and a dollar and all of that. Just to give you an understanding, I hold 278 million, because I did burn off about 2 million or so, or it might've been 20 million, I don't, I don't know. I burned off quite a bit um, just to increase the burn percentage for that that day um but i basically hold 270 or 280 uh million coins and uh that at one penny would be 2.7 million dollars so yes we could be millionaires uh by holding that much and i only be i believe it's like two thousand or three thousand dollars that i'm holding right now or something like that don't don't quote me on it but it's somewhere around it um but anyways creating that video was more surrounding a ton of things like uh, Shibirium getting released, the metaverse getting released, understanding land and being able to buy Shiba Inu or being able to buy land with Shiba Inu. Um, also, um, the different businesses that were being created, the burning that could go through with uh, wellies and the different franchises that could be launched and everything there. But to tell you the truth, all of that was all speculation and that's what I always want it to be is speculation. I would love for it to be truth, right? I would love for it to be 100% fact and that it's going to happen, but that's all we can do in this type of ecosystem, which doesn't actually release a ton of information. Um, and when they do, they just release whatever they're releasing with speculation behind it. So saying, you know, wellies, they release that information, they have the restaurant, they they talk about what's going to be sort of the impact and kind of leave the rest up to us to guess what's going to happen. Oh, a portion of the revenue is going to be burned. Well, they didn't make that clear from the start, right? They had to wait a certain period of time for wellies to agree that they would do that. And we don't even know what's happening with wellies revenue and what's going to be there. But just understand that restaurants take a long time to become profitable, especially after, you know, starting up and um, eating that cost and everything there, you know, it may cost quite a bit to, or maybe a lot of time for them to become absolutely profitable. So if it's 5% or 1% or whatever percentage of net profits, you might end up not having any burns for a number of years. Um, so know that. But then when it comes to the metaverse, we understood that uh, Shiba Inu would be a big part of the metaverse, even though the lands, it took so much convincing for us to even be able to purchase the land or mint the land with Terra Luna, or sorry, not Terra Luna Classic, with uh, Shiba Inu. And the, the crazy thing is that even though we mint it, if we wanted to resell it, we still cannot resell it for Shiba Inu, right? We resell it for uh, ETH or resell it for, or for whatever, right? But it's not gonna be for Shiba Inu, it's gonna be for ETH again, which is like, you know, that conversion back and forth. So we're being told that Shiba Inu is going to be used in the metaverse. It's not. Shiba Inu is going to be burned with wellies. It's not. Shiba Inu is going to be burned with the, the game. It's not, right? They say that it is, but we haven't seen anything yet. Um, so now we have that last stand, right? Where it's Shibirium. Shibirium is kind of, I, I don't even know what to call it, but the knight in shining armor. It's our savior for the Shiba Inu ecosystem. And it's supposed to get us to some of these, these higher levels. So now I still do believe that people can become multimillionaires can, and the key word is can become multimillionaires. Um, we can get to a, a penny, right? If we get to a penny, that still would be a, what, six, or uh, $5.5 trillion uh, market cap. However, we can see burns that are going to happen if Shibirium is gonna burn a hell of a lot, right? If it finds a way to burn down a lot of the supply and we get down to maybe 55, um, 55 trillion or 5 trillion, right? Then we're looking at a much lower figure, uh, probably looking at somewhere around 50 billion in order to get to a penny level if we can burn down to that level but we don't know the impact that Shibirium will have. 
My guesstimate is that we probably will have somewhere around 10 to 20% of the overall volume that flows through Shibarium um, and not 50% or 100% because exchanges do have a lot of that volume and they are the off ramps for a lot of these cryptocurrencies. So they still will house the volume. It's just whether people are going to trade it or transfer it, they will hold it over on Shibarium so that they can transfer it for a different um, you know, project. So I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how it's going to play out. We still don't have all the details for Shibarium. We have a lot, a lot of details, but not all of the details. Um, and we also don't know how much they're going to burn, which is the main portion, right? If a bone is going to cost a certain amount and you know, you're going to have five cents to come out from a base fee. We've done calculations with that. We don't know if it's going to be 10 cents. We don't know if it's going to be 50 cents or 50% of the uh, base fee. We don't know this, right? So do I think if I had to answer that question again, do I think you will be a ship millionaire by 2025? I think that there is definitely a chance, but seeing how things have played out in the last two years, I would say that it's less likely to happen by 2025, but to push it further and say 2030, you know, maybe we have a little bit of a better chance in order to get there because we're seeing more and more burns. I just hope the popularity holds up. So kind of just addressing some of my old videos or one of my old videos um, to give you my understanding or my thoughts behind what I was saying then and what I am saying now. But I still do believe we have a chance. It's a higher chance than what we had before, uh, showing that we have different burn methods, but um, the burn rate is lower or as, as low as it's been since before we had different burn methods in place. And that's kind of crazy. But anyways, guys, Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let me know your thoughts on this. Do you believe that there's any chance that we could see people become multi-millionaires or just a millionaire by 2025? Um, do you believe that we can get to a penny by 2025? That's two years from now. Can we get to those levels? Um, so I don't know. Um, uh, I want your opinion. So comment down below and let me know your opinion. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more videos like this one. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help on the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter at Perry 8K, you can follow me over there. Don't forget about the links that are in the description. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one.